Today's verse is Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 46. Do not lose heart or be afraid when rumors are heard in the land. Amen. So dear people of God, do not believe on everything that the world says. Be careful in whatever you do. Always trust in the Lord Jesus. Make him the leader in your family people. Make him the leader in every decision of yours, every work of yours and in your life people so that the devil will not be able to play in your lives. The devil will not have the authority on your decisions in your life or on your thoughts people. Amen. So the devil will try to put rumors that leads into fear that will enter into your body. Rumors can also be said as different kinds of thoughts put into your minds people. So you believe which is not true. You will be led into a fantasy life where you keep living on your negative thoughts people which is actually not true at all. Amen. So the devil will give you bad thoughts, negative thoughts and knowledge that makes or believes or leads you into fear. So dear people of God, remember whatever decision that makes you or whatever leads you uh, into depression or whatever makes you feel scared, confused, anxiety, that is the thoughts or that is the fake knowledge brought to you by the evil because there will be no peace no comfort in it people you will always be restless in whatever decision that you take because it is not from God it is that rumor it is that fake knowledge it is the thoughts that is put into you by the devil to make you to live in a fantasy world which is not true at all amen God says in 2nd Peter's chapter 1 verse 2 3 and 4 verse 2 says grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Amen. So today God is your knowledge. He is the provider. He is your provider by grace and peace. That is what he provides to your thoughts people. Amen. So the decisions that you take today you will find grace and peace and harmony in it because the Lord gives you that knowledge. Hallelujah. Verse 3 says his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amen. So today your thoughts are protected by the divine power of God through the knowledge of God's goodness. Amen. The devil doesn't have the authority anymore in your lives and in your thoughts people. Do not worry about the rumors out in the world. Amen. For that is not true. Hallelujah. Believe in Jesus and be saved. Be guarded through your body, soul and spirit. Amen. So verse 4 says, Through these he has given us his very great and precious promise, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped, Amen, the corruption in the world caused by the evil desires. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a beautiful ending. So you have been escaped through the knowledge of God and not under captivity through the rumors in the world and you will not be afraid if you believe in Jesus for what he did, uh, did on the cross. He gave his life there to prove you, to give you what is true and for you to be fruitful and to enjoy life people. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you Lord for this beautiful life that you have given us Lord. We truly believe in you my master. You are a true living God. You will never ever leave us into rumors Lord Jesus because you have bought us through a price my master. Yes Lord, we truly believe in you that you are our comforter Lord Jesus. We will not be afraid and we will not lose our heart in this world because you have overcome it for us Lord. We truly believe in you my master. Thank you, Jesus. So today, Lord Jesus, we are escaped in the name of Jesus from all the rumors in this world. And we believe and we trust in the knowledge of yours, Lord, which you have given us, Lord Jesus, through your divine power and the knowledge that gives us peace and grace and saves us, my master, from this fake world around us, Lord Jesus, so that our art is guarded and guided by the holies of holy, the mighties of mighty, the kings of kings, Jesus Christ, through your work on the cross for us, Lord. We truly believe that we are saved and we are guided and we are led by you. We are no more in the hands of the evil spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
for the abundance of blessing and grace and mercy and peace that you have given us. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask this prayer. Amen. God bless you.